Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another tip video for you in gameplay. Uh, today's video is going to be about how to make your blitzes better. I'm going to give you five cheats that will dramatically improve your success rate no matter what blitz you run. Five things you can do that will get you way more sacks as well as turnovers and interceptions as well. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section as always or hit the like button and I'll do that. Other than that, it's going to, let's get right into the video. Now, the very first thing, I'm going to show you some you know defenses that I use quite a bit. You probably know the 3-4 bear uh, cover one QB contain that I use quite a lot. That's going to be one of the bases of this defense. But on this particular play, I switch over to the cover two invert. Now, to make this still a pretty good uh, pass rush, all you have to do is QB contain every play. Every single play, you want to make sure that you QB QB contain. You can see how these defensive events will have outside leverage and they'll maintain that throughout the play. On this first play, my opponent tries to step up. You can see that, you know, my, my defensive end is essentially controlling the blocker at this point. Even though he's going to step up, it doesn't really matter. You're going to see how he breaks away from that and gets the sack on Russell Wilson, even though he might have got a yard. Maybe he got back to the line of scrimmage. Either way, still stops the play from something that could have been much worse. On the very next play, very different game. Once again, QB contains. You're going to see how if my opponent stays in the box, he's fine. But if he tries to roll out the second he does he gets sacked that's also something that's very good about cubic contains in my opinion though one of the best things about cubic contains aside from um, you know their ability to control the lineman maintain the outside and get pressure when the quarterback moves uh, is also cubic contains if they don't get blocked if they don't get engaged then they typically just scream right to the quarterback as you're going to see on this very next play now, another thing that I was doing before the play started was I was gap stacking. I take my user on every single play, and you want to do this. You want to make sure that you take your user on every single play and try to pull a lineman, pull a blocker uh, that typically would double team or slide across. You can see right here, as I drop back into coverage, that lineman is blocking nobody now. He's doing nothing now, and he has nowhere to go. And you can see I still had plenty of time to get off the block and undercut the route, still get back in coverage. So gap stack every single play. And to take it a step further, I think that in, uh, going as far as sometimes even engaging with your blockers. It's not necessarily ideal. Sometimes you want to pull a lineman back without engaging your blocker, and it's very easy to do. But if you have to, I call it playing patty cake with him. Just press him and get right off, and you can see, once again, he has nowhere to block, nowhere to go. It makes that lineman useless. So that's something you definitely want to focus on and try to do. Always try to gap stack and engage a blocker before you drop back into coverage. Now, you can sometimes get caught. That's about the only downside of it. Uh, on the very next play here, we have, a and once again, a different game. I'm going to do the exact same trick. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try to gap stack and release. Sometimes you can get suctioned in if you don't have a very good player or you have a disadvantage. You can see I did right there. Let's go ahead and let's rewind it though because that will bring me to my next point. And that's to make sure that your blitzer is coming from the opposite side of the blocking back. On this particular play, they both block, but the fullback is not in a play action, and he's going to have no chance to get over in time. As you can see right here, he starts to the right, comes to the left to try to block, pick up this blitzer, and by the time he does, it's an instant sack. So, you know, on this particular play, he was actually blocking 10 players. He was trying to use his Moss 100 ability, and uh, he just sent Moss on a streak and nothing else. Here's another example from another gameplay. I'm going to do the exact same thing that I always do. I'm going to stack the gap. I'm going to gap stack. Like I say, that's the most important thing to start off with. Got my QB contains. The running back is on the left side of the quarterback, and one of my, my blitzers is on the right side. Blitz coming off of both sides, but the blitz on the right side is going to make the play because the running back was on the left. That's something that you're always going to see. Now, the last tip is for mobile quarterbacks, and a lot of people don't know that if you hit the right click on the, uh, on the controller, which is also called the R3, you send the closest defender. This is very important thing to do as you can see right here my opponent the second he starts to roll out I can see that he's got about 20 to 30 yards of nothing but green grass between him and the nearest defender on my team so hitting that right click button is probably one of the first things I want to do so he doesn't just run for a first or pick up easy yards as you can see right here um, you know all of them take off once he crosses the line of scrimmage but if he doesn't cross the line of scrimmage he's just looking for mobility looking for pocket space then nobody's gonna come down so you're gonna see right here my opponent on the next uh, play he's got Steve Young as well very popular quarterback once again 10 15 yards could easily step up and run i hit the right click button right away just to close that space and he's either throwing an interception which he almost does there or throws it out of bounds but it takes away his option to run which is what he wants to do so here we go once again later in the drive two plays later exact same thing 
30 yards of distance. He's stepping up with Steve Young, so I'm going to hit that right click one more time just to take away that space. He buys a little bit of time to throw it up, and then he just throws an interception because I took away one of the options of the things that he wants to do. And I put him in a situation where he either wants to take a sack or a lot of times I'll get turnovers out of it. Here's another one. Once again, 20 yards down the field is my nearest defender. I have to immediately know that if I'm going to send this defender that his zone will be open, and that's up to me to cover either that receiver or that area. So I send him, and you can see I pretty much take over that zone. Now you can see right here he almost gets it. I'm a little bit late, but the end result is a stop. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more plays like this, more videos like this, let me know in the comment section if you like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.